That's why we are living in songs. Let us mind our brother's welfare. To see, to to see on the wingine. That's another akuruti kwa matangaso. Na ebu tuambe na kwa matangaso. Papa wetu ali mbinguni. Kuna leta matangaso mbere yako. Kuna kuomba yote tutakao nena. Yawe ni, ma, ni kasi yako. Tunafanya kwa china yesu mwakosi wetu. Amen. Uh, one of our members, Alice Oko, lost her Bible here when we had the singles day. It's a medium black Bible. Uh, if you have seen it anywhere, to Musaidie, medium black Bible, King James Fashion, which there is a name inside Alice Oko. Sabato ya leo imeandaliwa na Sabbath School. The Sabbath today is conducted by Sabbath School. So the leaders of Sabbath School have taken us back. We are not going to do Sabbath School, but it is the Sabbath which is conducted by them. And each and every one of you is welcome. Midweek prayers, next, that is next week. Midweek prayers will continue as usual. On Wednesday, we'll have Chudi Obaiwa who will conduct the service. And on Friday, uh, Elder Clive Oanda will conduct the service. Next Sabbath will be conducted by chaplaincy. And all are welcome. Tomorrow, AWM will meet at 1.30 p.m. here at the church. Sign language class will start from tomorrow at 10 a.m. For those who have registered and those who are interested are requested to join that class of sign language. 
Master Guide drills will be conducted here at our church on 12th June 2022. And all Master Guide members are asked to attend. It will be, uh, it will be a station workshop. That's on 12th June 2022. Ma uh, Master Guide drills in our church. Children ministry leaders and the teachers will be having a training here tomorrow in the church here at nine. Tra children ministry leaders and the teachers will have a, a training here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Camp committee to meet. You know, our camp is about to take place less than a month. So the committee members, we are meeting at five today. Welfare committee, welfare committee to meet today at 1 p.m. Immediately after service, after divine service, the welfare council, that's the committee, which is the council, let us meet at exactly one. And that's like exactly the, uh, after divine hour. Our members to meet immediately after lunch, uh, after divine service also. Kiongosi ndi ametuambia amo mukutane hapo inje immediately after divine. Music festival for the Lower East Nairobi Station, Region B, will meet at Dandora Terminus on 19 June 2022. Music Festival for Lower East Nairobi Station, Region B, will, be, will meet at Dandora Terminus on 19 June 2022. We have our sister, Mirika Kokwach, is still in the hospital. He was moved from one hospital where I was to Kenyatta Hospital. And the family is requesting the church for financial assistance. They have a WhatsApp group and still they are asking you. We are being asked if we can come in and assist them in one way or the other. But here it is financially. And we have asked if you prepare yourselves, if you can't go to the WhatsApp, next Sabbath, if we can do a small donation in the church here. So you have been asked to prepare for that. This is our sister. The bill is going up. And uh, we keep her. That's the announcements for today. Uh, it is divine time. Put anything which is close to you that can give problems to our service. And we give honor to our God. At the same time, mostly why we say that is we take care of our telephones. Let us give honor to our, heart, uh, our God as we uh, conduct the service. May God bless you.
Let's pray. Our dear Father in heaven, we are before you this time. Talk to us until the end, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy day. Tukisema Sabbath School, mnasema moyo wa kanisa. Tukirudia Sabbath School mara ya pili, tunasema chuo kikuu. Sabbath School. Sabbath School. Asanteni, tunashukuru Mungu ambaye ni Sabato njema ametuongoza, tumeweza kufika nyumba yake. Uh, today it is about Sabbath School and I'm in for El Lakadebe ambaye ameenda ameka pasta kwa ajili ya fundraising iko katika kanisa ya pasta kule nyumbani mahali inaitwa inaitwa kiai kwa hivyo inaitwa chai kwa hivyo naomba usikifu mwema kwa siku ya leo kutoka kwenu elders yu kama amekaribisha ordained elders wote naomba wasimame all ordained elders kwa ni hapa ya wote naomba elema yeka tusalimie asanteni eh tuko na elders ambaye walienda na pasta ambaye ni la abakuk aliwasalimia mmepokea ila wanaina na yeye alipata uh, jambo la darura akaenda nyumbani na aliwasalimia mmepokea na pia Eda Clive alienda na wanakwaya ambao wameenda kule kwa kina pasta pia na yeye alituma salamu mmepokea kwa hivyo aweze ukaribisha ambaye wako hapa mbele kwa ajili ya huduma ya siku ya leo karibu Amjambo wana wa Mungu. Sabbath school. Moyo wa kanisa. Mnaona hiyo kitu iko kweli kwa hii kanisa? Nataka mubebe mikono juu. Wana wanakujanga chuo kikuu ama Sabbath school. 
asubuhi ni wangapi sasa mkono juu tuone kama jua kikuu iko ama saba siku iko sasa mkono juu ambia Mungu mimi nakujanga mapema orel kila mtu asimame yule anakujanga mapema simama tuone kama hiyo vitu yote iko tusio tunaongea tu eh kuvita kuviti yani kuona tunaongea wale wanakuja mapema ikiwa unajua unakuja mapema stand simama tuone kama kuna kitu kama hiyo kwa hii kanisa nataka kuona familia ya Eli stand up Eva they are not late watoto wala wanakuja mapema wala watakuja kuongoza kanisa hili watoto wako wapi sasa mnaona kuna juu kikuu hapa kuna saba school watu wangapi waine Awa ndiyo jo kikuu ndiyo saba school ya tumaini. Si mnaona tunaelekea wapi? Tunaelekea kufunga chuo kikuu. Tunaelekea kufunga saba school. Ni wanga nauliza kitu kingine tena. Ni wangapi wanawekanga alam ya kumuamusa weekdays. Unasikia ikilia unaamka. Mungu tu anakujua. Weba mkono juu. Tanganya Mungu tu. Ni wangapi? Sina watu wa tumaini they are not. Awaongee yangi ukweli. Nakwambia siku ya kazi watu wanayekanga haramu inawaamsa. Na wanaenda kasi mapema. Hakuna mtu anachelewa. Lakini siku ya Mungu hiyo ni ya kulala. Na watu wengi wanalala. Sasa mukilala na watoto wenu. Nani atakuja kuongoza hii kanisa? Mtoto akiona mama analala, baba analala. Naona mtoto huyu akona mwelekeo. Ana mwelekeo wa Sabbath school. Mimi naomba watu wa Tumaini. Sabato ichao. Si tukuje mapema kanisani. Tukuje na watoto wetu. Tufundisha watoto wetu juu ya Sabbath school. Ndio sasa wewe ikiwa unachelewa mtoto anakuja mapema. Lakini ukilana na mtoto arale. Imagine ni mwalimu anangojea mtoto kwa class anakuta hakuna mtoto hiyo ni sule hiyo si sule na kanisa ya Mungu je wacha tu tuheshimu kanisa ya Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ndiye God is everything sisi hatuna kitu hakuna kitu tuko nayo Mungu akisema leo afunge hii ewa kuna mtu atapatikana nani anasema kuna mtu atapatikana wacha ile ewa ya kununuliwa ya Mungu kuna mtu atapatikana hakuna kwa hivyo tujue ya kwamba kuna mwenyewe mwenye hii kanisa yako na na patroli asubuhi watu wanalianga sina mibaraka sitapata lakini Mungu ana patroli asubuhi anakuta hakuna mtu anapatia mibaraka anarudi na mibaraka yake so let us come add in the church tuheshimu kanisa ya Mungu na tujue leo ni sabato vile watu wa sande hiyo kiangalia watu wa sande asubuhi wanaamkia lakini wala tunajua ukweli tunalala tutavitwa na wakati kwa hivyo tafadhali wacha tu at least tuamke asubuhi tukuja kanisani ndio saba siku iendelee vizuri nataka kukaribisha wenzetu wale wanatusaidia kwa hii kazi ya saba siku kio najua uko kwa saba siku assistant kiongozi secretary tafadhali simama kio najua una at least unafanya kazi ya Mungu Simama. Wengine wameenda nje. Natemba salimia watu wa Mungu. Wengine? Ningeomba ikiwa umekaa na mtu, ujamlisalimia tangu asubuhi. Mwambie Mungu anakupenda na ukuche mapema saa ya saba siku. Ulisa yeye anaitwa nani? Mwambie ubarikiwe sana. Etea wale wanatuongoza siku ya leo. Tuko na msichana wetu hapa mdogo atasimama aseme jina yake. Na karibisha 
wasazi wake. Happy Saba. Happy day. I would like my mom to stand and greet the congrat. My name is Kimbali Nyambura. God is good and all the time. I like my mother to stand and greet the congregation. My name is Charles Oten. Be blessed. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. Davison Machogu. Na muruko ule anaenda kutufuatia neno ya siku ya leo. Atasimama tu Asmail na Aketi. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Elda Oyaro. Ingependa mzee asimame asalimie watu wa Mungu. Kevin. Na kuna kuna wenzetu tunakaa nao. Si wasimame? Salimie watu wa Mungu, ni watoto wetu. Dorika simama. An, an yako avi. Ayuko kanisa yetu lakini ako na sisi. Si atakuja? Na mi naitua Alice Okinyi. Mbarikiwe sana. Buwana Yesu wa sifiwe tena. Uh, today I'm going to read... Uh, First, it comes from the book of John, chapter 13, verse 7. Hope to me pick up, and it says, Jesus answered, Jesus answered him, You do not understand now what I am doing, but you will understand later. I repeat, Jesus answered him, You do not understand now what I am doing, but you will understand later. Mparikiwe as we wait for the speaker to expand it. Let's stand up and, and sing song number 124. Wimbo ni nambari mia na shirinaine. Umechoka nje umesumbuka Tende Umechoka nje umesumbuka Mwambie Yesu sumbuko lako Unaya lilia ya pitayo Mwambie Yesu peke Thank you. 
wakati wa maombi tunapoomba tukumbuke kanisa kwa ajili ya mpangilio kanisa iko nayo ambaye ni ya makambi tuweke katika machoni pake Mungu pia tuombe wenzetu ambao walienda kule makweni wanaporudi jioni nyumbani tuwapate wapa, safari njema wakirudi nyumbani e, na pia tukumbuke sister wetu ambaye ni Eh, Milka Okwach ako Kenyata ni mgonjwa. Tunashukuru Mungu sababu Mungu anaendelea kumtetea, anaendelea kupata nafuu. Lakini tukumkumbuke kwa maombi ndipo sa aweze kutoka hospitalini. Ni hayo tu na tupate maombi. Tuweke magoti chini. Tunaomba. Tunakushukuru Mungu. Tunasema ni asante za sababu ya siku ya leo Mungu. Umeweza kutuongoza tangu sabato iliyopita tulipokutana hapa na sasa siku ya leo tumeweza kukutana katika nyumba yako kwa ajili ya mahubiri pia na kwa ajili ya maombi. Tunakuja mikononi mwako Mungu, sisi ni wenye dhambi, tukiwa hata hivyo Mungu tunaomba msamaha wa dhambi. Kila mmoja wetu natujua na shida zetu zote Mungu bila tunaishi Mungu. Najua maisha ni magumu, Mungu watu hawana pesa, watu eh, wengine hawana kazi, Mungu pia wengine hawana chakula katika manyumba. Lakini unapokuwa mbele tunapokutasama tunapoweka macho kwako Mungu na jua yote yatawezekana. Mungu pia wale hospitalini tunaweka mkononi mwako. Dada yetu Milka Okwach ambaye uko hospitalini Mungu tunaweka mkononi mwako Mungu. Mungu tunashukuru sababu anaendelea kumpigania na maisha yake Mungu yanaendelea kunawili kila wakati. Mungu anapoendelea kupata matibabu uweze kuonekana hata madaktari anayoendelea kumpatia matibabu Mungu watumikie kwa njia kwa, kwa, kwa njia ya Mungu ya kuleta utukufu machoni pako Mungu wakati Mungu pia wengine pia wanaopata matibabu hospitali mbalimbali tunaweka mkononi mwako Mungu uweze kuongoza Mungu pia kanisa yetu ya Tumaini tunaleta mkononi mwako kuanzia eh, channel conference tunakuja eh, eh, local church ambaye inaongozwa na pasta tunaweka mkononi mwako pia wasee wa kanisa viongozi wa idara mbalimbali pia na washiriki Mungu unawajua Saidi na Mungu waonekanie na uongereze eh, eh, kwa kwa pole pole kwa moyo Mungu na pia Mungu aweze kukujua na kukutumikia na Mungu pia makambi ambayo iko mbeleni mwetu tunaweka mkononi mwako kanisa iko na mpango ya kutafuta fedha kwa ajili ya kufikiza makambi na kuhudumia wageni Mungu aweze kutuongoza na utuguze tuweze kutoa kwa ajili ya makambi Mungu wakati Mungu tunaenda katika kusikia neno lako tunaleta mhubiri wa siku ya leo mkononi mwako uweze kumuongoza umulinde na umutumikie ili tuweze kupata neno lako na Mungu uweze kutufuta karibu na wewe Mungu pia tunaleta wote amani majirani wetu hapa mkononi mwako Mungu na neno hili liweze kuwafikia Mungu ili waweze kukuja kanisa kwa ajili ya kujiandaa kwa, kwa kuja kwako mara ya pili hata nchi yetu ya Kenya tunaiombea tuweze kupata amani na wakati tunaelekea uchaguzi Mungu tuongoze na tuweze kufanya uchaguzi ambaye inapendeka na inapendeza machoni pako kiongozi najua Mungu umeweza kumjagua na kupitia wewe Mungu tutapata amani ili tuweze kupata njia ya kuhubiri na kuomba jina lako panapokuwa na amani Mungu tunashukuru tutapata eh, njia ya kutangaza neno lako Mungu wakati tunakuja mikononi mwako tunasema ni asante na tunashukuru tukiomba katika jina hizo bana mkombozi wetu amen God is good. Now it's time for tithe and offering. But before we do so, ningependa kusoma from that hiyo paasha paasha kama hii ukiangalia nyuma yake from the book of 2 Corinthians 9:7. 
God wants to praise us above and beyond an offering. An offering is responsible to God's goodness. So, Mungu anataka kutupariki sisi sote. Na already ametupariki. Na kutoa ni kurudishia Mungu shukura ni yale ambayo ametenda. Because God says, amepariki kila mtu kwa njia yake. So, tunastahili kutolea Mungu kulingana fenye ametupariki. Usiseme mimi niko na pesa kidogo kwa Mungu hiyo yenye amekupariki nayo ndio anataka kidogo. So, it's good mukitoa kwa tithe pia ukiangalia ndani ya pasa kuna nini tumeandika CM CM means church maintenance church maintenance wengi hatutoi but church maintenance ndio inasimamia kuchenga kanisa not building but hizi vitu kama kiateka maji stima vitu mingi sasa so church maintenance ni ya maana pia mukitoa tithe pia kumbuka church maintenance Deacon Deacon and Deaconesses on duty mnaweza simama Deacon Deaconesses Mnaweza anza ku correct As they start wanawake women unaweza kuja kwa wimbo eh ndo wa women ministry so mama <laughs> na wake so what it is the same <laughs> All women. All ladies of the church.
naomba kuna kushukuru Mungu tunasema ni asante sawa ya matoleo Mungu tunasema ni asante kwa wali watoa tunasema ni asante Mungu kwa sababu ya biashara yao tunasema ni asante Mungu kwa sababu ya kasi ambayo wanaofanya kwa ajili ya kutolea Mungu wabariki na pia Mungu ambaye wachatoa kwa siku ya leo pia Mungu aweze kuonekania pia siku nyingine pia aweze kutolea Mungu pia kasi inaenda madhara ametoa inaenda kufanya Mungu pia aweze kubariki na ileta wiki katika kanisa lako Mungu. Tunaomba machache tukiamini katika kinyesi Bwana mkombozi wetu. Amen. Happy Sabbath church. Happy day. Our topic of today is friendship is a great character building value. I repeat, friendship is a great character building value. Before we start, I would like Joseph Lucky to come and, and pray for us. Father, as we pray, thank you, Lord, for this day. Please protect us through this sermon. Please forgive our sins. Help the poor. Help the sick. Please, God, protect those who are on the streets. In Jesus' name and I pray. Amen. Amen. Jonathan and David were great friends, but Saul had made up his mind to kill David. When Jonathan, David's best friend, found out about his father's evil plan, he warned David and told him to hide from King Saul. King Saul wanted to kill David because he did not want him to be a king. He wished for his own son Jonathan to take over him. Jonathan loved his best friend David so much that he did not mind if he became a king instead of him and wished him good all times. The Jonathan and David's friendship is one of the most moving and closest friendship in history and a good example for all boys and girls. Amen. Amen. 
Jonathan did not fear, not even when faced with his father's death threats. He was always faithful and loyal to his friend David. David behaved in the same way towards Jonathan, and their friendship lasted all their lives. Friendship among those who are at the same time, same time God's friend is one of the fundamental values in the building of character. Amen? Amen. Church, do you have a friend who is soon to come up front to close our sermon with a word of prayer? Happy Sabbath. Happy day. My name is Joshua Ndiamanti and I have and let us bow our head for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us as Charles was taking the sermon. As, as people are going to home later, please guide everyone and help those people who are at the hospital. In Jesus' name, Amen. Do you like my story? Yes, Do you like my story? Yes, Thank you. Happy Sabbath once more. Happy day. Happy day. I would like Dorka Amo to come to a special choir, to a special item. Dorka Amo.
Naenda kuleta mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo ili atuletee yale yote Mungu amemfuatia na atusaidie kwa maisha yetu. Mgeni karibu. God is good. And all the time. Ewe skuli wa sabato upazuri sana moyo wangu wanivuta nije kwa kole o tuombe our dear father in heaven come down and talk to us in jesus name uh, my name is victor kotiego i'm a youth in this church uh, today is my first time standing here preaching. It's a blessing eh, to preach and to you, allow God to use you to minister to his people. Uh, our sermon today is don't worry. Hold on. Peter, in the book of John chapter 13 verse 7, Jesus was doing a service work and a humility, and Jesus reached him to wash, wash his legs, and he asked Jesus, so why do you wash my legs only? Why don't you wash my body? But Jesus answered him by saying, by saying, what I'm doing? Ah, ah, ah. John chapter 13 verse 7, what I'm doing? Now, we will not understand but we'll know there after. Indeed, uh, as children of God, the world is not a friend to us. Sometimes we pass through different sorrows and we ask God, where is your hand on this? I've been doing this work for you, but no, see me where I am. It might be sickness you are, it must be a job you are seeking, it must be a family divorce, it might be a being to your family, or false accusation by others into you. And now you ask God, indeed, the thing happening to me is not me. Why do you bring this to me? But you know, the Savior liveth and is the Father who will never leave you alone. So sometimes, as a Christians, we must pass through some occasions. But Jesus will never leave us alone. Joseph, a very good young son of Jacob, Jacob loved the son very much. Then one day, he had a dream that they were in the field and the eleven sheaves were surrounding his tall sheaves to bow down into him. The following day, he had another dream. They had a soul, sun, moon, and stars bowing down into me. Then the, the, the brothers and the father and the mother asking him, who are you? Do you think that we can bow down unto you? But the father kept that in his heart. But brothers, brothers developed uh, envy into him. So one day when Jacob sent his son to take food to his brothers, he went. Joseph departed, not knowing it will take too long to see his father again. He started 16 miles walking, walking until Dathon. After reaching Dathon, he got his brother, whom he loved very much. He is singing, now my long journey has come to an end. I've seen my brother. I'm going, going to give them food. They are going to eat. They'll be happy. But how did they receive him? By mockery, by envy, towering his clothes outside. And then finally, selling what? Selling him. Dreams Joseph had. Now he's going down. The dreams ahead, the dreams that were showing me I will be superior, I will be the most powerful person. Now I'm being sold as a slave. He looks at the hill of Dathon. He sees father stands behind there. Ah, oh, my daddy, I'm going. My brothers at Dathon, you have sold me. You want to kill me. His hope become hopeless. His friend become friendless. He became lonely, sold to a known land. Dear friend, did Joseph know why God did this thing to him? In Genesis chapter 45, verse 5, he says, 
But to you, my brother, you sent me out of anger. But God sent me here after so that I can save you during starvation. Did he know why God sent him there before? Did he know why God put in that problem so that can uplift him after? Yeah. Jacob, on his way from Laban, he makes a way going back to his homeland. He met a wrestling with a heavenly messenger. Then finally, the beloved wife dies. Then his daughter also has been deprived. His sons has killed some members. Now there's an, an empty between him and the people of Canaanites. Now he has started crying. God raised your hand. But God told him, one, you go back to Bethel. Where's the Bethel? Church. When you're in trouble, where do you go to? Church. Even Joseph, although he loved his, his, his brothers, he never neglected them. He showed them love. So friends, don't love me because I love you. Love me because it's a, a gift from where? Heaven. If you love me because I love you, if I stop loving you, will you love me again? You will not. If you love me because I have my money, if I stop giving you money, will you love me again? No. So that's not a love from heaven. You must have love from heaven, which is a love which is calling. Martha and Mary, their brother has died. Now he's under a grave called a grave. Dying there. He's lying there. Then his master, in Luke chapter 5, from verse 5 to 6, Master, now you are late. See, your friend is dead. How will he come back again? Jesus just wept and said, You have little faith. Why don't you believe? Then Jesus go to where the barn lies. Say, remove the stone. Lands are all others. Come forth. Did now Martha and Mary know why the father, brother dies? So he dies so Jesus can perform a what? A miracle. Our problem can be a, stay, a, stay, a, a stepping stone to give us a testimony to testify under God. Amen? Even as Peter and his fellow are on the Lake Galilee catching fish, Oh, th those come from Lakeside, low people. They will tell you, Omena is being caught at night. And the first thing you should have, a lamp, a light source. If there's no light source, they will not come. So if you put a light, uh, when there is on shade of moon, there's no Omena. That's why you see them sometimes Omena is not there. It's because what? There's moon set. There's light too much. Light now, they don't come to where you are put your net. But even in darkness, you put light, then they come. They come, they come, they come. And because they come to light, when your fish cannot turn back. They come back to the light. They are being caught in the net. In the net. Then and in the morning, you go to your catch. But now, Peter has been there for the whole night. No fish. Then you come during the daytime, where there's broad light. You cannot catch fish or men at during the daytime because there's light. You will not. But what, how many did they caught? Many. Such that they could not what? They could not count. And they could not use themselves. God can bless us, but after God has blessed you, do you bless others? After God has given you another priority, do you bless others? Do you call, call others to come and enjoy the blessing God has given you? After this, Peter knew, the master said, let me cast my net. He cast his net in the lake. Now he got the multiple fish. When God calls you, just Trust and obey because the saver is liveth. Naaman, having a leprosy, he went to Elisha for a healing. They had a dialogue. Elisha telling him, just go to River Jordan. Dip yourself there seven times. You see River Jordan is like a, like a sewage line passing. Somebody telling me, you go and dip yourself into sewage line seven times. Then you'll be healed. They go, ah, are you mad? He first refusing. But after being obeying, did he know why Elisha was telling him to go there? He became as soft, as handsome as a young what? A young child. My friend, when God calls you, the problem you are passing, if you take them to Christ, one day you will be uplifted up. Jonah. Jonah was in the fish belly for how many days? Three days. Jonah was in a shack. A shark don't have digestive system. A shark has a 
as strong concentrated hydrochloric acid, such that if you put this metal, it's being melted. It's being melted until it becomes molten, from mo metal to molten liquid. But you see, Jonah was there three good days. Nothing happened to him. Why? Because the Savior protect him. When the Savior protects you, there's no harm that comes against you. Naomi. Naomi is walking from Israel. They go to Moba, uh, Moab. And there, husband dies. Their sons dies. A cruel death. Where you lost all the family. My friend, that is not a good. That is not good. Where you lost all your family. The person who was helping you, you become helpless. Now you ask God now, my son has gone, my husband, my daughters are remaining alone. Why don't you take away my life, dear friend? After this, God showed them away. At the end of the story, you see Naomi, is be, uh, Ruth is being married to another, another king, Boaz. God showed him after. So when we pass through different problems, God is there to uplift us. Let me give you a story. There was a pastor who was sleeping uh, in his bedroom, uh, sleeping. There's a thought that was coming into him, telling him, Pastor, can you rise up? There's something that is taking place somewhere. And I want to send you as a message at this moment. And th that, that's a thought in mind. And Pastor thought that I'm just thinking loud. What is this? But it was a, a dark and uh, uh, it was raining. So, Pastor is saying, now God can send me with this darkness and all of this raining time to go out to the old man's house. How will I go? Then, Pastor, ah, let me sleep. This cannot happen. When he went back to sleep, the thought continues, continues, telling me, get out. Go to the old man's house. He tried. He wake up. Then uh, his wife telling him, why do you go to at this moment? Are you a witchcraft? No, you cannot go at this moment. Then the, the voice telling him, get out. As a man of God, God, let me take my horse, go. He put on his horse, going slowly, slowly, reaching at the gate of the old man. He said, should I step in? How will these people see me? If this old man wakes up and get me on a horse, a pastor and a witchcraft at the same time, how will they view me? Am I a witchcraft? Am I a pastor? So let me go back. He started his journey going back. He went back. Upon reaching his home, other, that voice came again telling him, Go! Where I sent you? He turns back again. Now he be obedient. See, now, even, now it is bad. Let me go. Let me now listen to the voice. And Christians should know how to listen to God's voice and the devil's voice. Now he started walking. He goes slowly. He goes slowly. He went to the man's house. He tries to open the room. When he said to open the door, the door was already opened. Then he thought for himself, these people slept without uh, closing the door. When he, he went there, he made a very short prayer. Dear Father in heaven, you have sent me here, but I don't know why you sent me here. If there is a hand lifted to slay this man, let it be paralyzed. Then he walked away. He went back to his home, and the wife asked him, why did you go there? What did God send you to do? He told her, even me, I don't know. Some years later, pastor was visiting the prisoners. And when he went to visit the prisoner, he had a prisoner calling from very far. Pastor, pastor, come and pray for me. Pastor is wondering, how can a young man knows me by my name in this prison? When he goes there, the young man tells him, Pastor, this day, there was an old man who had a lot of cash, and I wanted this money. And I, uh, I, I approached to contest them, to kill them, so that I can take their money. But you stepped in and offered a prayer that if, if there is any hand lifted to slay these people, let it be paralyzed. Pastor, you can see my hand has been paralyzed up to today. Did the pastor now know why God was sending you after? Yes. Things can happen to us. But we can be worried. We can ask God, where is your hand? But what does Matthew chapter 11, 28 saying? Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 is saying,
Let's go there. It says. It says. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come to me. All you who labor. And are heavy laden. And um, I, will I will give, give you rest. rest. So Jesus just want you. Take your labor into him. And he will give you rest. Sometimes we try all our best to fight our struggles alone. Go, ah, I'm strong. Let me move on. You fight before you start fighting the problem you have. Please ask God. Ask even if the family issues, family has neglected you. They make a wrong accusation against you. Your friends have died. Your husband has died. Your wife has died. Even your daughters have died. Please take them to heaven. Me personally, when I was young, I was in, um, I was age eight. I was age eight, then I lost my mother. At age nine, I lost my father. So I was very young. I used to stay with the show And my grandmother was a very prayerful woman. When I was lying there on the mat, I could hear her praying at the bed, praying for me so that I can have a good future in life. But uh, my story became very sad when after finishing Form 4, where I got uh, very good marks to take me in uh, another step. But uh, there's no fee for me. Then um, my uncle promised to take me to college, for medical college. And I wanted to be uh, under medical field. Then I was uh, assigned, I was called in, in Machakos, KMTC. I was supposed to join on 16th September. On, 16, on 3rd, 3rd August, my uncle passed away. Then I was, eh, my dream became to shut. Now I had no future. It has ended. And nobody's at home who can now support me. You see? Then somebody just came from somewhere. I told me, Victor, you, you have been a good person in this village. I want to take you to teacher's training college. How do you see? And I'm helpless. What, you, what should I say? Yes. I said, yes, I'll go. I have never done to be a teacher. Uh, but now I'm a teacher. I've never done to be a teacher. <laughs> I've never. But at that time, what came in uh, first, I took it first. Then he paid for me 50000 And the, the organized fund, fundraising for me, which added money around 80000 And my fee was cleared for the first time. Then I went to college. I did my college. Second year was now diff difficult. There's no money. You know, he had helped me, right? Will you go now? Help me again. Full of, full of it. It's not easy. My friend, if you are living with an orphan, there are some things they need to tell. They are only their parent, but they cannot say that. If they cannot tell you, they have to tell them to their own parent. But see, they don't have anyone to tell. So they come to you. So please help them. Then my church, my local church, organized for a fundraising. Then they took me to finish my college. I finished my college, but I had some rare areas. So during census, this way I saw the hand of God. During census, because I had a round of uh, above 40,000, above fee balance. And I was trying to pay it until it was about, uh, it was raining about 25,000. Then I prayed to God, God, give me money. I finished this work. I applied for a uh, census. After the last day, and who knows you in Nairobi? I'm just, I'm just going with the energy of God. Let me just go. Let me just go and try. Nikaenda, nikajaribu. After applying, nikakatu. One day, tulikuwa na Mositi pale nje. Nikapigewa sim. Uton Sabbath. Victor, come for interview right away. Right away. Come for interview for census. Eh, nikapia Mositi. Yonja ini Sabbath. Misi endi. And then I didn't go. A week later, I did not go for the interview. A week later, I was called. Victor, you qualified for interview. Come for work. What do you say? <laughs> eh, then I went. I did the work. I got the money. And I cleared my school fee with that money. So whatever God works for you, there's a future for it. Don't give up. Just hold on. There's a future. Don't leave your father. Don't leave your God. The one thing Joseph did not do is to step down and leave his father in heaven. You know, he was separated by his father his biological father, but he never left the father in heaven. Don't detach yourself from heaven. Amen? Amen. Normally, get stuck to God. 
Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. It says, For I know the plans for what? For you. Not a plan to? Not a plan to? Not to? Eh, to end. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh -huh. For I know the thoughts that I, ha I think towards you, mm -hmm. says the Lord, mm -hmm. thoughts of peace and not evil, mm -hmm. to give you a future mm -hmm. and a hope. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. God has good thoughts for us. Sometimes you are under starvation. You have not eaten. You have children. They ask you for food. Where do you cry to? Where do you run to get your food? But Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, you see, if the, if the birds on air get the what? Their food. But they never sow. God will provide for you food. God will send a Philip to you. God will send a good Samaritan to help you. Just keep on holding. Don't worry. Hold on. One day, God will lift you up. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 12 to 13. I will read uh, chapter 30, verse 12. He's saying, For thus saith the Lord, Your affliction is incurable. Your wound is severe. There's no one to plead for your case, for your cause, uh, that you may be bound up. You have no healing medicine. Yes, maybe you are in a sickness where there's no disease to, there's no medicine to, to treat you. But when the Father comes, there's nothing above him that he cannot be. Change. God is there. Verse 16 is saying, Therefore, all those who devour you, I will devour them. And all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Those who plunder you, you shall become like a plunder. And all who pray upon you will make you a prey. For I will restore health to you. So you see, that's the word of God. I will restore that thing that was lost from you back to you. Do you know how God protect you? Do you know how God bring a hedge to protect you? Job chapter 1 verse 10. Satan was asking God, but you have put a very strong hem around him. People of God are really kept and are really secured with a hem of angel. And when God is there with you, there's no harm that will go on you unless you hold off. But keep hold on until the end. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. It is says, burdens are lifted at Calvary. And I call upon choristers to come assist me on this. Psalm number 476, burdens are lifted at Calvary. Tusimame sisi wote. Naomba wale wameketi chini kama una mtoto ama uko mgonjwa tafadhali simama kwa mheshimu Mungu tafadhali kama uko na mtoto peke yake ndi uketi cuz naona watu wengi bado wameketi tunaimba song number 476 from our hymn books days are filled with sorrows and care let's sing together Days are filled with sorrows as care. Hearts are lonely and dear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Kaiser, Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus 
burdens are lifted at Calvary. He knows our trouble. He knows our tears. Let's cast our problems unto Jesus. I call upon Elder to help uh, pray. Tunaomba. Tunapoomba. Tukumbuke Benedita Samburu. Aya kuna mgonjwa. Ambaye ni mother in Rock Hospital. Amesema tumukumbuke kwa maombi. Kwa hivyo tuombe. Tunakushukuru mungu. Tunasema ni asante, umetulinda. Tunasema ni asante, sababu tumepata neno lako. Na mungu tumeambua kwamba tuweze kukuangalia. Na macho yetu yawe kwako, ndiposa mamba yetu yaweze kukamirika. Mungu pia, tunajua wewe ndiyo kiongosi na wewe ndiyo kimbilio wakila wakati. Wakatu mungu pia, tunaleta mgonjwa ambaye ameletwa mkononi mwetu mungu kwa ajili ya maombi. Ambaye ni Martha in Raw wa Beneteta Samburu. Mungu weze kumkumbuka na Mungu weze kumpatia dawa yako ya kipekee. Mungu anao kukimbilia, wanao chuweka mkononi mwako utawaacha na utaweza kuwapigania kila wakati wanapo itachi eh, kutoka kwako Mungu. Wakati Mungu najua yule mama akisikii vizuri na anasikia uchungu, Mungu muonekanie na Mungu dawa yako ya kipekee iweze kuleta uponyaji. Kila wakati tunaposikia yote tunashukuru na kuinua jina lako. Atakapopona tutainua jina lako juu saidi Mungu. Wakati pia Mungu tunapotoka hapa kwa ajili ya kwenda mankuri, Mungu tuongoze na tunashukuru sababu ya kikundi hiki ambaye kimeza kuongoza eh, eh, wakati wa mahubiri Mungu. Waweza kuendelea kuwabariki na kila siku waweza kuwatumia kwa njia inafaa. Mungu tunaomba machache tukiamini katika kinezo bwana mkombosu wetu. Mpugwa umekuzunguka wewe 
yeyote yaweza kukugusa kwa maombi ya imani mara moja utapata kupona hamuelewi ninaposema nimeguswa na nguvu zimepungua ni mguso wa imani imani ya kweli Hitaji msada peke etoka kwa Mungu Ni mguso wa imani imani ya kweli Inayohitaji msada peke etoka kwa Mungu kwa kweli Watu wote walishangaa ale haya 